In this video, we'll bounce the equation for AlOH3 plus HCl, aluminum hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid. Let's count the atoms up. We have one aluminum, and then this three applies to everything here in the parentheses. So we have three times the one oxygen. We have three oxygens, three times the one hydrogen. We have three hydrogens, plus we have a hydrogen out here. So we have to make sure we count that four total hydrogens. And then chlorine, we have one. On the product side, we have one aluminum, oxygens, we have one, two hydrogens, three chlorines. Let's start by balancing the chlorines here. We could put a three in front of the HCl. That would mean that one times three, that would give us three chlorines. So they're balanced. We do need to update our hydrogens though. So we have our three times the one, three hydrogens there, plus one times the three, that gives us three more. So now we have six and we have our chlorines, those are balanced. We could fix the hydrogens pretty easily by putting a three in front of the H2O because two times three, that gives us six. So that balances the hydrogens and the three applies to all of the atoms here in water. So we have the one oxygen times the three, which is nice because now the oxygens are balanced as well. And we're done, everything is the same on each side, this equation, is balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for aluminum hydroxide plus HCl yields aluminum chloride plus water. Thanks for watching.